I'm so proud of you, darling. <laughs> you ran so quickly. It was as if you possessed inhuman speed. Very impressive. All that time cooped up has made you a spry one. But it won't be enough. <laughs> I know you're in the area, my beloved. I can smell your sweat. Hear your breathing. And if by some miracle you somehow survive the next few minutes, there's more on the way. More of my kind. Our pursuers. No doubt they can hear me. <laughs> no doubt they're headed toward us right now. Scrambling across tree branches toward us this very second. What do you think they'll do, darling? Nothing as horrible as what I'll do to you. That's for certain. If only I could find you. Hmm. Where might you be? <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. The beating of your heart, the blood rushing through your body. To my senses, it's like an orchestra, a bloody symphony of sounds. <laughs> Speaking of which, come here. I'm starving. Oh, <laughs> tantalizing. If your skin tastes that good, I can imagine how delicious what lies beneath will be. Especially since I don't have to hold back anymore. I don't have to be gentle when I suck out your life force. Don't move, my beloved. Keep those eyes open. Everyone should stare death in the face when they meet it. <gasps> no, 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 no. Foolish demons. Of all the timing, I'm on your side. <laughs> I want them dead, too. I want to feed. Hmm, take another step closer, and I'll add your deaths to my desires. <sighs> Very well. Don't say, I didn't warn you. <laughs> Please, beloved. Please wake up. I know your pulse is weak, but... There's still breath upon your lips and a beating to your heart. God, just thinking that I might have killed you. 
Even if I weren't in my right mind, it would be enough to make me end it. I can't cope with this world if I've created one without you, darling. If I have, I'll let the sun take me now. Better a quick death in blistering rays than an agonizing eternity of life without you, my dear. Oh, darling. You're awake. <laughs> this is wonderful. I... The fear that I had... Thank you. I... Uh, I don't suppose I need to tell you how worried I was. I've been sitting by your side for hours, holding your hand, wishing you'd waken, but too scared to move you. Too frightened to move myself, in fact. I... Uh, I remember dropping you. You must have hit your head, fallen unconscious. My hungry self lunged at the Dumonts that had found us. They weren't prepared for the savagery of my attack, and... And I don't wish to remember much after that. Y yes yeah. I am in the sunlight, dear. Your idea about the coat worked. As long as I don't show my skin, the sunlight doesn't burn. Though, I, I wouldn't say I'm comfortable. I, I don't remember mornings being this hot. Hmm? Other than that, I'm fine. The vampires I fought? We wondered before how it was they kept their energy. My, uh, other self found out. See this, beloved? Several vials of blood that once belonged to them, and now belong to me. Not a pleasant remedy for my hunger. Not nearly as pleasant as your own, but it certainly seems to have done the job. They should last until you're well enough again. I... Uh, I'm feeling so much better now. Even with the sun at our backs. Speaking of... If you're able to stand, my darling, we should make ample use of our new opportunity. Make use of the daylight in a way our pursuers cannot. I'll help you up. Here. Lean on me. Any strength you currently lack, I'll make up for. It's the only way we'll survive this world, beloved. Together. <sighs> you smell good. <laughs> Not in that way. You always smell positively delicious, darling. But I think lying upon the ground has done you a few favors. Being amongst nature for not even a day has removed the dank prison stench that clung to your body. Uh, not that I'm saying you smelled. <laughs> no, I'm not sure where we are either. I chased you through those woods for quite a while, and it's such a haze we could be anywhere. Come, darling. There's a clearing up ahead. I'm sure once we step through, we'll get our bear. Oh. Oh, my. D darling, have I gone mad, or... Has our bout of luck paid off? I don't believe it. We've somehow... We've managed to stumble upon the very town you call home. 
Oh, darling, this is wonderful. It's simply wonderful. It's as beautiful as I remember it. Why, the sun hasn't moved. It's as if it's in a picture. A beautiful portrait painted by the most talented artists in the lands. We must stay here. As long as we can. The nostalgia from being here will surely boost our morale, beloved. And I'm sure if your family lives here, they'll let us stay. Oh. I see. Well. That explains why you were traveling alone when the Demonts took you. I'm sorry for your loss, dear. Uh, but, will that not mean that your house is free? Perhaps we could use it as a, a base of sorts? Provided you're willing to, of course, and... <gasps> Darling. Do you know what I can smell? Hmm. You do? <laughs> yes, I can smell it even from here. In far richer, far greater detail than ever before. The cinnamon swirls we both loved are still there, my darling. Still fresh from the oven from what I'm smelling. Oh, so delicious. Come, let's get some. Let's just sit together and enjoy a moment in peace. But, uh, we don't have any money, do we? I suppose I could hypnotize the baker to give us some, but, but that would be immoral. And again, I'm not skilled enough with the ability. Do not desire to potentially trap someone in a trance they could never awaken from. It would be my greatest nightmare. Beside your death, of course. What's that? Oh, of course they'd know you. <laughs> but would they part with their goods for free? <laughs> Very well. If you're so confident, I'll wait here at your home. The clifftop view of the sea is truly divine. And I don't wish to part with it for even a moment. Come back soon, darling. <laughs> You're back. And so soon. But even a second is an eternity when spent away from you, my dear. Ah. Those swirls will make a fine apology, I'm sure. How do they feel in your hand? Are they warm? Is the exterior strong but burdling your grip? <laughs> Just how I remember. No, no. I don't need one, darling. <laughs> they did just go to waste. And my senses are picking its gorgeous scent from over here anyway. They seem radiant. <sighs> but for now, I am exhausted after the day we've had, darling. I've been awake for far too long by vampire standards, and I need sleep. So, if you'll allow us to make use of the bed upstairs, I wouldn't mind resting by your side for a good while. Though, if you could head up there first just to ensure the curtains were drawn, I would certainly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. 
Darling? Darling, wake up. It's Olivia, darling. She's found us. Oh my goodness. Golden Proxy left us with another cliffhanger. I will not take long to get to the next one, I promise. <laughs> thank you, Cupcakes. Thank you all for being here, and thank you all for listening this far. I would like to thank my new patrons, and welcome my new patrons, Den Lawson, Biter Bar Stranger. I love that name. Thank you for that. That was a reference to my Flirty Vampire series, which if you haven't heard it, it was... It, it was popular, and I'm so touched that it was popular. So thank you. Shadow Neko, welcome. Riles, Moriel de Calum. I think I pronounced that right. I hope I pronounced that right. Moriel de Calum. Travis Wolf, thank you very much, and welcome. You guys got here just in time for the weekend, and hopefully you'll be able to join us for the D&D game this weekend. That would be fun. And, of course, thank you to all of my patrons. Juice, who has so many O's and S's and a Z in their name. It, may, <laughs> it makes me think of, I think, Eddie, Eddie Izzard's joke about how a certain evil dictator really only hated Juice and was tragically misunderstood. I would also like to thank Nick Fader, Dragonic Man, Paul Quick, Vixenary, Retro MHA, PR, Schlabberbux, Juja, Prabin, Crystal Fleer, Danny, Joseph Lane, Nick, Bacon Dog 13, Mr. Cluster, That Random Bystander, JM1989, Artivo, Sean Carter, Joverland, Soulful Ginger, Moot Rosher Lair, Chum 15 Re Chum, ASDF 10, Four has an unholy alliance with the poker AI and never believe Dreamy's so-called misclicks. My virtual wallet can attest. Branded, Rob Butterballs, Lion in Winter, Vigar, Slasher No Slashing, Deuce, Genghis Corn, Pole, Master Chief 592, Persona, Marchville, Scotta 99, Shizuka Lynx, Sonansend 56134. Many outsiders come to see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric Kai, Eric, Jumbo Jovi, <laughs> Match, Stuart Chilton, Atlas 462, Radiga, Sheep Shepo, Aiden S, Curious Jorge, Basilisk Pain, Deep Fried Vibes, E. Hizasho, Goose L, John Kebab, Eli, MCH Main, Salty Loganissa, Hungry Hippo, Gilberto Riquero, Alex Willette, Quincy Jones, Adam, Kobe Ewing, Great Willento, Old Bean UK, Jonesy, The Bi Agenda, King Kylie 21, Kiro Agreste, Chris Arctic Penguin 92, Duke is definitely quitting this job. The pay and hours are horrible, but it does give a lot of time to listen to Dreamy's audios, though. Kalua Bear, Jesse, Colek92, Brolio Vargas, Sean, Seth the Mess, Sir Ramington, Nick, Synergy12. Wherever you are, I hope you're okay. I love you. Aww. Raptor, Dreamy loves making cute llama outfits. Benedict's Nine. Ironhead333, Anzu Wiley, Cody, Nachtwaya, Wolf of Whoppers and Red Vines, <laughs> Skull, Yuri Boygon, also Nachtwaya, yeah, Whoppers are where it's at. Although Maltesers are better, I'm sorry, Maltesers are better. Weebie Goy Epic, Weebie Goy, <laughs> it's We Beg Goy Epic, <laughs> Fit External Cherry West Script, Dreamy, Te deja iniciar fuego si se lo preguntas amablemente. Jules, solitary surreal, pierce the heavens, a red bow, jacketeer, Adrian Hasslinger, join us in the dreamy dome for the ultimate showdown, Bruno Bagel Cheeks, Vinny Oive, two stereotypes, enter, only one leaves. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the things Jews say that sound so anti-Semitic if you don't know we're Jewish. <laughs> Tom Shuffle, Christian Kaleapa'a, 
and because you are a dream, I sleep a lot, and Marius Darkwolf. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, all of you. You are all a delight and so much fun to hang out with. Thank you to all of my subscribers and listeners and the people who are still hanging out with me. You are very kind to encourage my nonsense. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you will all be as kind to yourselves as you are to me. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.